Hello everyone. My name is Wang Yun, and I am the product manager for Word and uh, PowerPoint extensibility. And today, uh, I would like to talk something uh, related to uh, adding auto open for uh, Word and Excel. Recently, we received a uh, um, different request from the partners that they would like to have the auto open or auto installation capabilities for the add-ins. We already have different functions enabled to help our customers to do the uh, the auto open or auto launch, um, you, if you want to call it. So before going into some questions or some uh, you know use cases reviews for the new requirements, I would like to do a recap of the current behavior for auto opens. Um, so for auto opens, there are uh, different understandings from partners. Uh, some of the partners, they would like to have uh, the add-in to be automatically installed and opened when a specific document has been opened. So when you open up a Word document, then your add-in, um, and, and that is a document that is created with the add-in so that they want to have the add-in to be opened automatically. And uh, some of the partners, they would like to have any of their document to open the add-in automatically, automatically. For example, for a company, they would like to have their company add-in to be opened all the time for all the documents. And sometimes the, um, the auto open or op auto launch means that um, you know we don't want to do the auto installation for the add-in, but we only want to open those add-ins for those clients that already installed those add-ins. So different opinions or different understandings of the auto open. And uh, today we actually have different options for you to open the add-in automatically. Uh, so first one is that. Um, you could uh, automatically open the task pane when an add-in is installed. So we have a documentation here I put here so that you can take a look. Um, from there, uh, you could config uh, which page or which task pane in your add-in you want to uh, auto open during the uh, after the installation. And another way is that you could embed an add-in into a document. So you could do some XML changes to insert or embed an add-in into a specific uh, Excel spreadsheet or Word document, et cetera, so that whenever this document gets opened, the add-in will be automatically installed and opened for that user. Um, the, the problem uh, with this is that, you know, the uh, add-in will be persist into the document all the time. So uh, unless the, the user knows how to change that underneath the XML, the, normally the user cannot change, uh, turn off that auto open feature themselves through this embedded way. And we also have an auto open feature for a specific document that you could, uh, the add-in can control whether to persist the add-in to be auto automatically opened or not. So in this way, we could control, uh, we, we, we can control that behavior through either XML settings or the underneath um, uh, add-in code so that uh, the user can choose, okay, I opened up this add-in this time, but next time, uh, whether I want to have this add-in to be automatically launched uh, again or not. So everything can be set through the add-in code. And uh, for for this feature specifically, it is uh, still for a specific document, which means that you always set the auto open feature for a document. Um, but uh, if you want to say, hey, I want to have my other documents to auto launch the same add-in, you cannot do it uh, with this feature. And the the benefit of this again is that uh, you know from the customer perspective, they could leverage your add-in code to turn on or turn off uh, this uh, auto open capability. Uh, I also put a link here. Um, but before besides these options, we still received different auto open requirements. Uh, I have put a, a survey link, a forms link here, and I hope that you could help us to understand your scenarios as well uh, to give us some feedback for your auto open requirements. Uh, so there are a couple of requirements that we are gathering now. Um, so uh, the first of all, the, uh, the document automation. 
So many of our customers, for example, they would like to do the data classification, document classification, check-in or encryption of the document or setting the labels, uh, data integ integrity check-ins, et cetera. So, so for these purposes, they would like to have the auto uh, add-in to be automatically launched in the background so that whenever a user tries to change the document or upload the document or even share the document, the add-in underneath can check the integrity of the data or check the uh, the whether the, the, the data has been encrypted or not, et cetera. So uh, many companies require this capability. And also this is not for just one specific document. This is actually from, uh, for example, for a company wide that they would like to have all the Word document or the Excel document to automatically launch some specific security related or data classification related add-ins underneath uh, to, uh, to check all the documents. And also we have another use case that uh, people want to to say, hey, if I share a document to others, you know, I want to uh, I want others to open that add in automatically with the document as well. Um, so currently you, you, you can partially do it with the embedded add in, uh, which that uh, currently our customers or partners, if they have a system, they can have that system to create it to, uh, to create a document embedded with some specific add ins. However, you know, this requirement is more broad that they don't require a system to create that document. This is to say anyone, when anyone creates a document, they could have some settings to, settings to say whether I want to share the add-in as well uh, with others so that they can be automatically opened with the shared files. Um, and another case, the third one uh, is an interesting one, especially in EDU education field that, uh, for example, many uh, teachers, they reviewed different documentation uh, from the students in this way that uh, uh, the, the teachers always receive the different homeworks, different papers from students so that they would like to have every document to auto launch their add in to give feedbacks. Um, so this is very important for them because uh, they, they don't like to open the add in for each document one by one because every time they will open up like 20, 30, 50 documents at the same time. So they, they, do, do, they don't want to do the uh, to waste the clicks uh, to open the add ins. So the proposal here is that uh, they, they just would like the office to remember the last status of the, the launching add-in. So if a add-in has been launched uh, last time when using a Word document, then next time whenever a document has been opened, the add-in will be automatically launched as well. And also some partners are asking whether the document can be auto-launched for a specific locations. So all these settings uh, could be set by the admin themselves. So many of the uh, the, the settings here uh, should be controlled by the administrators uh, for the office. So again, I put a link here so that hopefully you can put some of your ideas uh, for these scenarios and give your feedbacks uh, as well. And as I, uh, as I said at the beginning, so different people has different understandings for auto launch. So Many partners, when they say auto launch, they actually mean that auto install with auto open of NetIn. So we also have different auto install requirements listed here, uh, which are sort of interesting. Uh, and I would like also um, take advantage of this opportunity to have your opinions in the survey uh, here. And uh, uh, the first one is that. Uh, uh, if I have uh, both COM and uh, COM and GS add-ins, so this is very common that many of our partners started their migration from COM add-ins to the GS add-ins. But there normally there will be a duration of time that it takes time to fully migrate it from COM to GS. So in this way, people want to say, hey, if on my Windows client, if a customer has the COM add-in installed, could you please also do the auto install for the other devices? For example, if a 
user now open up a, uh, a Word online or Excel online, or they just open up a new Mac, Word, etc. So those clients will open the uh, the same add-in from the same brand automatically. Um, so that's the the first one. And also because of this uh, migration, people think that uh, right now we have the stall uh, to uh, the, the the user need to go to the store to to install the GS add-ins and also we can do the side loadings etc. But we also have a way to say hey the people are asking why why not you provide uh, some uh, installation experience as calm so that we can bundle the GS add-in into our main application installation process. So that when you install a application, your related add-in can be automatically installed to your office client. So, so this will also help some of our clients to say, you know, uh, during my migration process from Calm to GS, I would like to take advantage of this way to replace my Calm add-in with the GS add-in on some of our clients' uh, system. And also we have the add-in should be installed and launched automatically for the company standards templates, which means that for particular, so many companies or enterprises, they would like to create something based on the, the company standard templates. So they would like to say if a user choose a template that is created by the company, then you know the 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 embedded add-ins should be automatically installed and launched for the user uh, within uh, in the company, and also in the share a share mode uh, when a user tries to share a file to others, um, sometimes they would like to have the um, the add-ins to be automatically installed and opened uh, so that uh, the others can continue working based on this file. So these are all the requirements we have received today, and we are looking forward to getting your feedback through the uh, forums survey pasted here, and hopefully we can get more of your feedbacks, and hopefully we can get more of your contacts so that we can have further discussions. Thanks.